going on? It's your man, DJ Big Mike. It's your boy, T Daddy Fat Sack. And of course, the Angry Artist. And this is Beyond the Tracks Podcast, your podcast's favorite podcast. What up, fellas? What up? What it do? What, what it, it do. is? What it will be? Everything, everything. You know, uh, I was sitting at home earlier today and I was thinking of a really good, you know what? I was making a correlation, Lloyd. This is for you. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Ooh, I like it. It's making a correlation. A correlation. Nice a lot word of, there. Let's go. You know how, like, uh, little things can happen the butterfly effect you put like a pin in this area and whatever you know like mm. a certain time and it comes the butterfly effect right so i got i came into your life about a year ago right okay and now <laughs> your arts in london being talked about like well, actually, is, was it me or was it me like that's what i thought <laughs> That was about, actually, we talked more about it. That was about 15 years ago when I did a comic book for somebody over there. I did two of them for him. No, I think, Damn, I didn't know he had history. <laughs> no. I didn't know. No, I, I think, I, I believe. I know exactly Lloyd, who it is. Lloyd has been excelling over the last year. Okay. And there's no doubt in my mind, it's BTT Podcast. I mean, <laughs> he was literally nothing before us, t Rup. When we invited him into our circle, put your face magic on the- things started to happen. Pause. Would you agree? Pause. Pause. Before I was on podcast, you know, you, I had my stuff on TV. You know that, right? Mm. Hold on, let's peel. I didn't know that. I don't. I don't think I really knew that. I don't think Pittsburgh that. Steelers. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah, that, that was way before that. No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, bro. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you know what? I, I mean, the people, the people talk. You know what I mean? People talk. You and know people what? People have already told me. There's like, bro, you you and T Rup fucking made Lloyd. Like, like I don't believe that shit. <laughs> like Lloyd needs to Lloyd needs to pay his dues, but it's not time it's not time to pay the piper yet. I, no. pay, I you know, paid the piper. You just think hey, I paid the piper. Give me give me what's mine. Yeah, I <laughs> give me what's I mine. set that machine up to cut your finger off to make you realize <laughs> yeah. your so yeah. so because this all happened. I want to know. I just, I want you guys to know. See. I just found out the meaning of gaslighting. <laughs> Big time. Right? Mm-hmm. So everybody's been. Once again, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. But I, it's been said a lot lately. In in the last couple years. Break like, it down for me because I don't know. What, okay. What is, so, what is ooh, gaslighting for ooh. real? Like, what okay, is it for real? So this is actually pretty cool to talk about. This is a good subject because mm-hmm. it is creating we you just did it perfectly he did you did it better than i did yeah he did (laughs) i I started laughing like yours yours sounded a little bit more believable so what gaslighting is is manipulating what lloyd like like what lloyd actually was there for you manipulate him so if i'm gonna tell a story me and lloyd are telling a story about what me and lloyd did and i'm trying to make lloyd look like a piece of shit but i'm manipulating the thing around and it's like even getting Lloyd now like for a whole week straight I'm like Lloyd you did do that you're a piece of shit Lloyd like Mm. you know keep doing Mm. it Mm. and now he starts believing it when he fucking seen what really happened but like altering reality for your own malicious purposes and shit like that and it's like lying and like it's like false loyalty and and stuff like that it's it's kind of weird it's it is because it's your, uh, you know how, yeah, you, it goes hand in hand, with hand it. in hand, but not exactly. Okay. Uh, the a narcissist doesn't, they uh, don't gaslight. And there's three different ways to gaslight. There's the blatant lying, mm-hmm. uh, like bending and th- misinterpreting the, the, the real perception, like Jedi mind trick. Yes, Jedi. That's what I call it. That's exactly. what I call it. Jedi mind so, trick. Okay. So that that's actually the best way to say it, it is because it's just altering. Because it's four days ago, you don't know. You don't fucking know as good as yeah. you did four days ago. So, like for example, it would be if I was drinking one day <clears throat> and I and I started to make some some statements and then you took those statements and you flip flopped them and because i was drinking i might be like damn did i did i say it like that 
I, mm. I didn't mean it like that, but I guess I did say it like that. That's the easiest. Like that's that. the easiest, that's the okay. easiest form of of gaslighting. Okay. That's okay. probably where somebody got that from. See, I thought gaslighting was when people said that, like this motherfucking this motherfucking busted ass dude keep gaslighting me, and I'm like, oh, bitch, he just says you're pretty and you're just Ooh. a fucking dud or oh. something like that, or. You know, says yeah. you're pretty and treats you like trash, or I don't. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Gaslighting was until you guys actually, because I was like, this has nothing to do with what we're talking no, about it doesn't. right now. But and then I looked at it and I was like, oh shit! And now gaslighting and the same thing. When I realized a lot of shit, like gaslighting is what the news does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. And boy. I've been gaslit by presidents. <laughs> Facts. I've been gaslit by my dad. I've gaslit my dude. I fucking gaslit my dad like it was fucking nothing. <laughs> I've told on you, myself you for out, those. Though. You out there gaslighting? Yeah, you didn't and, even realize you and was and gaslighting. I'm sitting like, here, blow torch. Right. And, <laughs> and I got toxic on my chin because I was toxic, but I didn't truly understand how deep it could have been. Because sometimes you gaslight without even knowing, and sometimes you gaslight maliciously and that's like really that's, that's, the, that's like the when you're doing it purposely that's you're fucking with somebody's like mem memory your recollection your whatever yeah. you know or like well, inception and now that now that you know that like and you can think back and like you said like you've gaslit people didn't even realize you were doing it gaslight right. my own friends right yeah, that no and that. it's like you you have to kind of sit back and you have to go why like yes. I, I think about it all the time, and I think, I think how many times I've been gaslit. No and I, shit. And I go, why? Like that's always my my because I don't truly understand it. Why? What is the purpose? Right? What is what is someone getting out of it? Normally, that's what I go back and look at. What are they? What are they actually getting self, out of this? Self. Ooh. Self. Uh, uh -huh. it's bigger than that. Bigger than that. See, so somebody's gaslighting you. Let's say. Mike, for example, he's doing really good in the way, somewhere. Somebody else coming along is another DJ. Oh, he ain't that good, whatever. You know, he ain't doing all that like that. He's trying to get his work. He's trying to get his business. Okay. He's trying to get his confidence shook. Fuck. See, it's now, I would, now I, I would think gaslighting is where you're trying to ma manipulate that's what, that, that that particular person. Yes. So them coming to me and going. Manipulate you know, Mike, situations, you, too. But I'm thinking like. Say, like, you talk about the DJ stuff. If another DJ came to me and was like, hey, bro, I've been checking out your sets, and your sets is kind of weak. That's what I said. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, but coming to me. Yeah, coming to you and saying. And then, and then me losing my self-confidence or what have you because of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly okay. why. That's exactly it. why. That's so you were not going to do, so I ain't do good in that last job. Why am I going to take this one? Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But okay. but now now look at how malicious it actually gets. In order for me to make you believe that you suck at DJing, I have to have like some sort of shits to, to be able to reference to. Once you bring references and shit like that. So like if I, D, if I went into the DJ depths of darkness, I could find somebody that DJs just like you. Mm -hmm. There's, there's only a, a certain amount of ways you can DJ, correct? Like, right. like there's only a certain amount of beats you can do. Oh, I, well, this dude did fucking this song, this song, this song, and they all fucking uh, formed together. Uh, but I don't think so. Because being a DJ is like an artist. Everybody can, they might have <clears throat> access to the same things, but I'd be able to do it the same way. No, but yeah. the, the whole the whole thing is me. <clears throat> believe, you, cop, you copied fucking DJ fucking cock nugget. Right. <laughs> the, the, look it. This is the first twelve minutes of his set. You just copied his shit. This is basically copy and paste. You just did the ma 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 at the end. That's it. Okay. You know. And then yeah. I'm looking and at it, listening to it. Now you can. Holy shit. Now, now it's in your head because the same song is being used. You like what? But the it's hell? same thing like on Facebook post or something when somebody comes on and they're they're shitting on somebody's business. Yes. Like why are you shitting on? Uh, for instance, I seen somebody post a negative thing about Amaya's. And they were so mad about not even a re like the 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 food they ordered the wrong. This is what I got out of it. They ordered the wrong thing. Okay. You go out to an authentic place and try to order some shit that you don't know. Uh, like 
That's you go fault. to authentic, authentic Mexican food ain't fucking Taco Bell, bub. That's, <laughs> that's meat sauce, bub. That's not fucking that's true, meat, right. you know? And, and now everybody jumps on it and they all fucking, now everybody has this bad perception of Amaya's like, mm -hmm. what even happened in there? It was probably a nice time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, right. and, and they're just cooking what the fuck they know to cook anyway. Yeah. Right. But you know, it's like, I'm glad you said Facebook. That's why I keep saying my page is Sparta. <laughs> you come in here with the wrong stuff. And they all try to switch, switch and can control what my narrative is. If I believe X, Y, and Z, if I turn into ABC, Bow! You in the hole. Well, I, you know, Facebook to me is... is no, I'm just saying, is, I'm gonna do yeah. that in general, because I'm getting at it a lot lately. I, I'm, I'm posting things on purpose, purposely, to see who is thinking a certain way so I know how to deal with certain people. That okay. Mean, I mean, I mean, so, you, so, so you're one of the people who post some wild shit on Facebook just to see the reaction. Yes. Okay. You should know me well enough for that. Right. I, 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 I am a shocker. And, and I feel like... What do I they feel call like that? there's a lot of people that do that, especially on like social media and shit. And I, I just sit back and I smile. And I used to be the one that I'd comment on it or whatever. Yes. And I just thought, man, I'm not even responding to this bullshit because it's bullshit. And I think I know that's. I always say, it, I know you in real life. Exactly. You so, know what I'm saying? I right. I'm that's... seeing people that I've known a long time come out, <laughs> come out of their shell <laughs> and act a certain way. I'm like, oh, you really think like that? Bet. Right. Okay. I, I, I get you now. I totally get you. Bet. And, yeah. then, and then there's some that actually have a real conversation with me about the way I think. This is a guy over in England. Funny story. When I got from that book, yeah. David Riley. I him and you. I always have the deepest conversations. They're, and he might be on the opposite side, but it's the way he conveys his responses and things. <sighs> it's very intellectual. It's not being point, pointed and hateful. He's trying to get to the well, root of what, what's going on. I like that kind of conversation. I absolutely do. Well, I, I mean, and I'll go back to, I mean, I know we've discussed this probably many times before, but it's, to me, it's simple, right? Like, there's, there's pe people can't comment on my, on my post about me if they don't know me. They also can't comment on my post or whatever if they can't, <gasps> if they can't do what I do. Like, I can't, that's I can, I can talk shit about Lloyd's artwork because that's my man. Yep. And we, we kick it like that. And, right. and he knows if, if I say some shit, man, your hands look fucked up. <laughs> on this painting, I, he knows where that's coming from. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. I, so, yeah, yeah. am I gaslighting him? Mm, no, nah, not really. But is he going back and looking at them hands in that painting? Like, did I fuck these up? No, you know. That, but that's you know that's that's what I'm talking about. But then uh, there's some people who can't paint a lick. Like I can't yeah. paint. So, and I I can't look at how Lloyd painted something and said you fucked this up. Because I can't do it. No, it's unless it's, well, unless it's so crazy. Thing. Yeah, unless it's something crazy. If he puts a motherfucker's, if he got three hands on a motherfucker, I'm, bro, you know. Yeah. Okay, now. okay. But, Once again. but it could be, I was going to say, but it could be, he meant for it to be that Exactly. Way. I don't know. You cannot critique an artist right. that, that right. they did yep. something wrong because they created it that way. How do you know he wasn't born right. a mutant? Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, so that leads to nothing. I say, people are telling me I should be doing it a certain way. I say, why? Listen. Right. I said, Listen, can, can, what can, I was, can you do this? Can you do this? Is it is it, it's different if it's constructive criticism? No, it's not. Versus it is though. It's, it's pointed. If it's, if the it's ultimate if form, it's coming from another artist and you're having a that's what a I, general conversation about it. Like, not, not just artist. talking shit. No, it's not another artist. You know, oh, okay. My, really I, good. I, actually, when my artist friends and I talk about things like that, and they'll <laughs> tell me, okay, it's right here, X, Y, and Z. I'm like, I didn't see that, but okay, I'll do it next time. Okay. But now it's some some Joe Schmo say, hey, why you do it like that or whatever. I'm like, can you do it? Show me how. So do you well, show, show, show me what I did wrong. What What about this though? What about if, like, for example, I can't play an instrument to Either. save my life, mm -hmm. but I can pick out notes that are wrong. I might not be able to. I might not be able to go. Hey, that's an E sharp, and it really should have been an F sharp. But I can listen to it and go, that note right there is off. I've always had that gift, and I don't play an instrument. But that's can two I different still, things. Can I still? Yes, you can. I can. I can critique that. Yes, you can. Okay. Because artists are different. They create shit out of their heads. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Music's okay. created out of that. No, but there's there's still laws, like you just said, the right. notes and everything else. 
Yeah. Yes, you, that makes sense. Yes, I was taught how to do certain things a certain a way. Written rule. Cause, right. Yeah, because in because in painting and in art and things like that, there there is no there's there's specific things. Hey, if you want this to look like this, this is the process you use. But there's fifty thousand different processes to make hating that. on somebody's yeah. art. Period is gaslighting. Period. That's why I, that's why I was going with well, this. I don't know. Lloyd's, some, that's why I, some that's, of Lloyd's artwork is garbage. That's why I was going with this, though. I'll that, say it. That's, that's why I was going I with this. It. That's stupid. That, that, yes. Yeah, that, yes. But Let me tell the you why. ultimate form of gaslighting is what I was saying, is where you can grab anything negative and throw it in there, mm-hmm. and it automatically gets somebody. Lloyd, why do you paint black people? That's what they did. They grabbed something from the fucking corner oh, of. Right. They went all the way to the Philippines, mm-hmm. dug it up, in, in a, you know what Not I'm the saying? They Damn. dug it up with a shovel, brought it all the way back, and they said, "Where's the white people, Lloyd?" I know. I said, "I'm black." Yeah, but that's 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 the gaslighting. That's to make others. Now that they, what did that person get out of that? They didn't get a dollar. They didn't get a any. I mean, maybe somebody patted on patted them on the back, but I don't got. think so. They they put that comment on there just to get other people to be like, he hates white people, don't he? And then they look through your shit, <laughs> which gets you another click. And then they see you great. With me. Then they see you with me. Yeah, and they uh, see the fucking the <laughs> Nazi supremacist right here with you. <laughs> like, damn, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> right? Yeah, I just I won't paint him because he's ugly, dude. <laughs> But that's yes, that's, yes, that's the ultimate form of like the gaslighting of that is so fucking ridiculous. It's horrible. Lloyd, why did you paint Nipsey Hustle just because he died? You're you're a dickhead. You didn't paint him when he was alive. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't paint him when he was alive, but now he's looking at God in this picture right now. But what Yeah, yeah shout out to Nip. I can shout shit. I can shit on everything. A, f- a f- old man Logan, I don't like him. That's your as a character. Good for you. Right, everybody. Does, you know what? Everybody does that. And I've, I've learned, and I'm saying I, I have to hold my tongue now because it, it has been set free. The older I've gotten, the more sh- and more sharper my tongue gets. Dude, I'm gonna peel a layer back. It, it really did. I, I didn't notice that. I noticed that the other day at work. I was like, "Ooh, that was mean." Remember <laughs> yeah. how they, we? Well, they say that about remember, folks as they get older, anyway. Remember how we're so mad about all the hate that's going on and shit. That's what we're doing. Yes, that's all. Everything. That we talked about today is in the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's social media gives me a good avenue to gaslight anything. <laughs> but no, I, I can gaslight anybody. Welcome, hey Rome, you still here? I'm gonna wait even further. People see you doing good. See you doing the right thing. Your so called friends. All of a sudden, oh, you ain't doing that shit over there. You need to come over and help me do this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you know how many times I get that one? And know what I say? Fuck off. <laughs> Literally, no, no. I'm not stopping what I'm doing. Can you see my motion? Well, to put motion in the yoke, all of a sudden, right idea. And and that goes to like, you know, I see memes, I see all kinds yeah. of stuff over the years of, you know, your, your, it's unfortunate because a majority of the time it is people that you call friends. Yes. They, they really try to talk, when you're, when you're starting to do some shit, they, first, they try to talk you out of it because they can't do it. Mm-hmm. So it's they, they man, that's gonna be difficult, bro. You're like, ah, you, Lloyd, I don't know if you should. You do ain't gonna that be in because, London, bro. Listen, Lloyd, <clears throat> you shouldn't you shouldn't paint that many paintings at one time, dude. You're wasting a lot of paint. What if you don't sell? Like, you shouldn't yeah. do that, bro. Lloyd. Like, she only said something about you in London. Hey, watch this, that's watch it. This, watch this. Somebody told me I need to quit posting so much. Yeah, because he he didn't understand what I was doing. That was me. You don't post enough. That was me. I told him that. That was me. And then he, he yes, it was. Yeah. And he didn't get it. You know what he said later? I understand now. Yeah, but that was like I wasn't just I wasn't hating to hate. No, he wasn't. He you didn't understand saying? it. I didn't understand it. So I was like, you know, when I open up my feed and Lloyd just posted eighty five things in the last fifteen minutes, I'm like, God damn, bro, what are you doing? Why why are you posting so much shit? You feel what I'm saying? Just in case because somebody's be, eyed listen, into the last Because one. I didn't understand <clears throat> that's not how that shit flows. It's not so he might post 85 things on his page, but depending on who his who his people are, who his followers are, who that kind of stuff, it, it breaks that shit up a little bit. In yeah. my head, Lloyd is posting 85 posts all within 15 minutes, and they're flooding everybody's timeline and everybody's. But it's just I'm I'm a 
I was a bigger follower and a longer follower. So when he posts stuff up like that, it flooded my because space, you comment it, on it, right, all of them, right? Yes, and or I love them, or I like yes. them, or something. Yeah, and I didn't understand that. Once I kind of understood that, I'm like, oh, it makes sense. You were right. Basically, what yeah. it's but, saying is but, you ain't got but, no friends, motherfucker. Put your saying. friends up. That's what it's saying. I got to get my friends up. <laughs> and you know what? We, Listen, didn't, we didn't argue about it. We didn't get into it about it. He, it was just too, I said, you know what? You'll see in a minute. Watch, watch how I'm working this out. Watch how this works. And he came back. Not about a year later, he said, hey, look. Yeah, you was right, bro. How do I do this? <laughs> right. Exactly. exactly. I, can't, I can't. I'm like, bro, I need to I need to get my post up. I need to I need to post more stuff. Like even and and I and I still haven't because I'm old man. I'm old man uh winner over he here. He looks at his he looks <laughs> at his phone and he's like <laughs> What do you do with the how do I get what my the, what, 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 the, what, the, what these Dana, kids, Dana, what, what the hell are these kids doing now? What's L O L? Bro, oh that is funny that you bitch L O L because when I first heard LOL, oh God, I was in these poker forums, and people would put like LOL all the time. Mm -hmm. And to me, and I wasn't even that old yet, but to me that meant lots of love. So oh, like I'm oh I'm playing, and motherfuckers just commenting like LOL, not realizing that oh I just made a dumbass move, and they're laughing at me. It took me a long time to figure that out because I'm thinking it's lots of love and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I just made the slickest plan on the planet. And then I lose and then I'm like, damn, I guess maybe uh, not. Oh, said, wow. oh you wow. dumb yeah. ah. <laughs> I really thought it meant lots of love, bro. Right. I really did. That's a shame. <laughs> that really is a shame. Yeah. So kind of getting back to like like friends and and like like I was saying, unfortunately a lot of it is is friends. Because that's who you confide in first. Yes. And that's who's going to respond to you first. A normal, just a stranger is not going to respond to you in the street or whatever. It's going to be a friend. Now, what happens is your friends say, bro, that's going to be hard. You can't, you can't mm -hmm. do that. Or you need to make sure you do A, B, and C, and you should really think about this. But they're giving you all this negative shit. But right. then when you succeed and you're successful, that's my man. That's my man. I've been with this dude. I've been riding with this dude for 30 years. That's my guy. But three years ago, he was but, your biggest doubter. Exactly. I literally got one of them. Remember my shirts? You know I do my shirts, right? Mm -hmm. Bleach shirts that take me forever to do. I was told I should sell them for $25 a piece. Yeah, you should. Shit. I'd, I'd probably be I able was to afford like, a lot more. I was like, <laughs> I said, what? He said, yeah. I said, dude, the shirt, I'll say the shirt's $10. Let's say the shirt's $10. I'm painting for about six hours, seven hours. And Maybe $30 there. And I said, you ain't do it for what? The first time I sold one for $120, <laughs> his mouth hit the ground. Right. Next time I sold one for $150, mouth hit the ground. And that's the price it's been since then. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know how you did it. I said, Cause Does he not understand that that's a one of one? Hold on. Not only that, he's an artist. And go back to what you said. I can't do it like that. You shouldn't be able to do it like that. How much effort? Yeah. How much effort is he putting into his T-shirts if he's, but he's only but he's not doing any? Not doing any. I'm just saying. I'm just making general statements. Okay. okay. Oh. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a general statement. So and and when people see you doing something a certain way, they don't think you could because it's not been done that That's way. That's not sustainable. Not, it's not yep. not been done that way. I've always done that. I've always done stuff the way I want to because I don't fit in nobody's damn box. Right. And you you see me like yeah. I got a bound cutter. You're like, how the fuck did you do that? Yeah. I got a I got a shirt that. There's 7 billion people on this earth, and I got a shirt that one out of 7 billion has. <laughs> right. No, that's absolute facts. Right. Absolute facts. One out of 7 billion. And if it was 20, $25, I would buy seven. Bro, what, right I, now. what I have on right now is one of one. Is, is no, no, Lloyd no. doesn't have this. I don't have that this one. Is his, I made that just for him. This is his line, and he doesn't have one. I made it just for him. Yeah. I literally did. So... Hey, Lloyd is my motherfucking <laughs> man. He's my guy. He's been you know my what? guy. We've been rolling since, uh, what, what they say? Uh, but but that, that, that's fact, though. <laughs> I, I was like three. And, uh, and, yeah. and, and that's a good segue anyone about to go into. The friend aspect. He's no longer a friend. He is family. Right. That's my Facts. Part. He's family. That's that. And think about all the time. Now, now you know how I, you value your time, your seven mm -hmm. hours on a T-shirt? How much time has this man now not wasted, but 
How much did this man put in time over the years into you? That's what that's what I'm getting to next. See, people think they can come in and slide in and be him. Yeah. You can't do that. Can't be me. I want, and and saying that, I've most of my friends are family. You're probably one of the newest friends I've ever had. And your family now because of the way, way we are. Because I'm white. C- c- relationship. You that well, white negro. But, <laughs> Every black guy needs but, a white friend. <laughs> but what I'm saying We're is. trying to get our credit score. There are people <laughs> that, bad, that have actually sat back and watched me. That were my supposed friends. Try to use that. Try to leverage that into me stopping what I'm doing and working what they're doing. I, 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 wanna, I want you to do that too. Shit. But you know I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I'm saying. And then they get mad because I say I'm not doing that. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I, I said, you got the same 12 hours a day I do. Why don't you do it? Learn Bro, how to you, do it. Listen, real talk. You even, you say that shit to me all the time. I'm like, dude, I, I need you to do this website. What have you done? Man, I'm, I did this and I did this. and I thought I'm, about it. I'm frustrated and whoop de whoop And he had just hit me up. That's because you're not practicing. That's because you're not doing enough. Do it more. Do it more, you'll get it. Try again. No, dead ass. Yeah. That's, and I'm just like, and sometimes, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. You I, mad. He say that shit, and I be, I be mad as a motherfucker. Experience I be sitting at my so damn important. table, and I be like, fuck Lloyd, man. Because Experience he, <laughs> is so important. You know what I did when I just got home? My dad showed me this knot a long time ago, the, the slip knot. Oh, yeah. Mm. And you tie the, you tie a loop, you double knot a loop into itself, basically, Correct. is what you do, right? Certified rigger. He told he. T- I am certified rigger. He told me he he taught me this when I was a kid, and I mm-hmm. knew I haven't. I don't. I don't fish a lot. I don't like fishing. I'm not a fan of it. He just taught me again today, and I went and showed my son. That's what. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a generation of. Yes. This one not. I know you can go to Cub Scouts and get it, but my dad started well, that. Shit, you can YouTube it now. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, I. D- but it, but it's cool that. Your dad taught you that, and you taught your son that. Yeah, and, and I went and got refreshment yeah. from the guy I got it from. Experience is so fucking slick. It is the 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 experience, of like even just the time he put into you, that means something. Like we, we just sit down together and do things. I would show him and show him and show him. I said, I'm not showing you no more. And because of, because of the history. That's it, though. Experience is look at you. But look. You can take care of somebody beyond any rec. Any fucking better now, than now anybody I, just I say, know. Fuck Lloyd. I'm not asking him for shit. I'll figure this shit out myself. And, yep. and then once once I, I do it, do. he's gonna critique the shit out of it and help you and, and get it right. the shit out of it. www.lloydainhelp.com. What's gonna do is force him to do it when I'm be like I am right now. I can barely do my own. I can't even do my own website right now. Right. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm doing is getting him prepared for like when we, when we me him and Dana all need him. Go do this for us. That's facts. You see. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not goofy. <laughs> but then he gonna be, D, he gonna be mad. You know, because you... one day I might be 105, but the student is gonna bypass the teacher. Ooh, what you feel about that, Lord? And then hey, he, and then you know he that it's mixed people. But you, too much. but you, but you do know that um, even Vader comes back as like a own spirit mm, okay. and still teaching. Okay, Yoda right. does too. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Get out of the fucking Star Wars today, dude. No. The same not, fucking May 5th. But, dude. The thing, but the thing is, that is so applicable in everything we're talking about. They do all that in that show, in that movie. I had never really paid any attention until recently. I'm like, damn. Ain't that some that's shit? True. I ain't tell never. The truth. Think about it. You gotta watch it. Watch it again and watch it from that perspective. You can be like, fuck Star Wars. <laughs> you really Bro, are. And I like, you know what's weird, man, is like, I don't know. I got into like the the old Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I could never get back into the new Star Wars. Maybe that's why. I was ga- I was gaslighting myself. Well, well, think about it. There are people. Hey, there were friends <laughs> that turned to enemies. In there. Well, yeah, it's it's all based on. But then there's realism, right? And then there's a lot of gaslighting. So um, you aren't you ain't all this, you ain't all that. Anakin, Anakin, you ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't that, you ain't that. He'll be the True. biggest bad ever. You gotta True. look at the look at the whole thing. Yeah. He got gassed at the whole time to become evil. And what did he do? He turned evil. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, they T-Rub, made him T-Rub, into T-Rub, that. You, you just had a thought. Because he, he sees it now. Yeah. I actually like Star Wars. Me too. Now. That <laughs> was now, a good yeah. way to... That was, was good. I like the character. 
Yeah. Like the good storylines of the characters and shit. Yeah, I don't even know how the storyline goes anymore because it's been so many and I don't know which one to damn watch and which one not to watch. And mm-hmm. But hey, see, I, I, I do, I do appreciate like the Mandalorian. Uh, like I do appreciate that, but I. It's in that too. Yeah, oh, I know. I think I feel Heavy. like it's in everything. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch TV shows and, and find it. No shit. man, when we you had know, the barber like, on, the barber, yeah. uh, when we had him on, his love and in, into the and me thinking about like the the series, I was I was like, oh cool, like they all have that. Like you ain't making a show unless you got character development, right? You ain't right. You can make a fucking movie, just a batshit crazy movie where explosions are everywhere. You know, that would be sweet, yeah. but then that's just going to be that movie. You got to, even those fucking movies have to build yeah. characters now. I, I mean, I look at, uh, I look at series, I look at series different anyway, because I look at series as like a 20 hour movie, right? Because yep. that's really how it should be set up. But I'm going to look at that shit a little differently now. Like I got to really start digging a little deeper into characters and why they do the things they do and how they do mm-hmm. it. And like, more so how they do it. I well, think that's well, interesting that out. you said that. Think about this. You can sit around right now in the hood and pick up people that you know, have known for a long time that have the same attributes. Yeah. And, and there's a few that are, are real. I'm like, wow. I didn't, I take off the rose-colored glasses. Mm. I can see who they are now. Right. And it's made, it's made me a better person. Yeah, well, and me and, and, me and T was talking about that before the pot. It's like it's it's crazy because you get to the point where, like I told him about a select few people, I, I just don't care anymore. I don't care what they're doing. I don't even follow what they're doing. I just don't, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm not supportive or not, because I try to support everybody, but when somebody just does so much foul shit and gaslighting and this and that, like you have to get to the point where you go, if you guys paid way too much attention. If you guys wouldn't have had me looking into gaslighting and uh Lloyd, you saying gaslighting when mm-hmm. I was telling you what, what I was mm-hmm. going through right. meant like that was exactly what you what was going on. I know. I know. And I didn't understand what gaslighting was. So me you bring in the let's talk about that Saturday. That was I want you to look that, deeper. That made I know me. You. That right. made me stand behind my decisions. Yeah, and, because and it made me think differently in the, the conversations I had with my dad and my wife and, and stuff like that. So I went into a whole situation, and and I believe knowing a lot about gaslighting, I believe that's going to make me a better person because it will. now oh, I can sure. try to hold myself accountable and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're you're marching down a path that because it all starts somewhere. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. The gaslighting has to start somewhere. It just has to be like, oh no, I can't get him to believe this. Right. So I gotta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not, well, it's see, not me, that. Me knowing how you operate and move and want to learn things and everything else, I know if I put that word out there, mm-hmm. you would be like, damn, what the fuck? And yep. research, yeah. And you came in here like what? What the yeah. fuck? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fucking, you're right. You're <laughs> yeah, right. Fucking that's piece wild. of shit. No. <laughs> and that, I've learned that about him. Mm-hmm. If I put something out there that I want him to, I want him to understand truth, truly, I'll use it in a situation where it applies to him. And you wonder yeah. why I like to and, hang out with old heads. <laughs> and and no. I think this is like with us, like we have a different, we have a different friendship. We all three have different friendships yep. within, within each other. Right. Right. And a lot of people will say like, I have very, and Lloyd knows this, t Rup, you know this now. I have very limited friends. And a lot of that goes to because you start looking at your friends and why they're your friends. Yes. Right? Because you really you really want to know that. Like I want to know why why does Lloyd have the love that he has for me? Why why is he willing to take time, energy and effort to have a conversation with me mm-hmm. when I'm when I'm doing good, if I'm fucking up, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Lloyd needs and wants nothing from me it is pure friendship please just talk to you know what i'm saying and my friends are are that for me i have some great great friends i don't ask them for anything i don't need anything from them but i notice a lot of the friends that i used to have yeah there we go when you stop giving when you stop doing producing anything they're 
they're no longer your friends. Yep. No, they're if, not. Like, there's there's been friends of mine that I'm thinking, man, you you helping me with this, you helping me with this, you helping you me want, with though. this, you helping me with this, cool, and I'm paying you. But as soon as I say, hey, bro, I ain't got no money today, but I need I need help with this. And they, they come go, oh, to I'm, the apple I'm, tree. I'm when busy, there's... or I'm. Oh, I got to go do this. I got. Oh, I can't. And then when you stop, say paying, if paying is the, the the key, then all of a sudden they're they're coming over three or four times a week. Not only coming once a week. Now it's every couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Now it's every couple months. Now I don't see them. When the apple you tree feel stops bearing fruit, nobody sees it. This man couldn't mm-hmm. cut his grass. I came and cut his grass. Yeah. W- w- without without question. Yeah, that's facts. Didn't expect nothing. You can't call beer. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up paying him like five hundred dollars, but but you know what I'm saying? Because I'm all why, 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 okay. Why didn't you? He was why he, couldn't he you heard of something at the time? Is that why? <sighs> it was something but, but I forgot. But you couldn't do it. I can't remember. If I was, wasn't gonna let Dana do it. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't remember why. I think I like. I think it was when I fell and hurt my leg or something. I think it like was. That. Yeah. Something, but just yeah, something. And and for for me to tell Lloyd. Bro, I can't even cut my grass. And he knows how I feel about my grass. Like, dude, away. I had fucking COVID. I w- ask Dana. I was outside. I had COVID. I was outside cutting the grass. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I got I to gotta cut the grass. Looks like shit. <laughs> right. No, but, and he said, he, man, I can't cut my grass. No. Yep. By how fast it was. Yeah. Where's the lawnmower, bro? No. Yep. It's got gas in it? I got you. That was it. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be like. But when somebody switches, trying to switch lanes, like he's saying, they help you, help you, help you, help you, as long as you're paying them, mm-hmm. or they can get something out of you. Oh, yes. Or, they, or they're expecting. They're expecting something. I'm going to keep doing this because I know I'm going to keep fucking with Lloyd, even though I really don't give a fuck about Lloyd, but I'm going to keep fucking with Lloyd because at some point, he's going to be a fucking millionaire, and he's going to fly me out to wherever. That's facts. Right? That's absolute facts. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep fucking with Lloyd. I don't want to fuck up this relationship. I'm going to stay in his life. Just enough so that when he blows up, I can go with it. And you, know, you, you feel me? And you know, that's those facts. The men not hurt my hand. I'm at home working. I called Dice of all people. He said, what? Come on up to the store. No questions asked. Right. Stuff right here, do this, do that, do this. He put me on with different things and everything else. I haven't been in this man's pl- pre- actual presence in probably about 10, 15 years. Mm. We went to high school together. Mm-hmm. I've known him that long. It was like, I never left. That's yeah. what... It's, it was, it was like, yeah. I think that's real true friendship. It is. Because I believe you and Mike could stop talking for five years and come back like. We did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Well, I got, first time I got married, moved to Detroit, I ain't come back to my room for whatever. I was right. gone for a while. But that's what I think. Like, when I was telling you about my longest lasting friends, I haven't been in their lives every day for the, since kindergarten. But when I see them, it's. Just another day, yes, like right. yes, but it's, it's the next be. time in our friendship. It's the next chapter in our friendship level, or you know, like the next page of the book. Yep, and that's it. It just keeps getting written, but like then these fake friends, the the, the fake friends and shit like that, they want a page of the book every fucking day. Mm. The ones that want something for you need that book every fucking day. They need that page. Because mm-hmm. no, right. more pages, there's more shit I can get eventually. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Man. And and being put in a book format, there are normal characters, standout characters, recurring characters that, that might come back every now and then. Oh. And then there's those itty bitty ones that have appearance in maybe one or two chapters. Mm-hmm. If that, if not a couple of pages. Those are the ones you gotta watch. Cause they, yeah. Those are the ones that are the, the hangers on. The sneak, the sneak. The, 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 yeah, the, the one, hanger, the hanger on. The ones like that, that see, oh, well, Lloyd's doing this now. Well, Mike's doing this. I gotta be around them more. I try to get another page. Like you said, I get another page. Yeah. But you know what? Me, no, no, I got now. I got an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it's funny that you mentioned that too, because I was just thinking not too long ago. I I can always tell with some of my you know Facebook friends. Are getting ready to either do something, release something, where they're gonna need support. Yep. And I was telling Dana, she's like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Look, you got this person, you got this person. They're liking everything that I share. They're sharing. They're doing yes. something's getting ready to drop. 
they're getting ready to drop where they're going to need support. Right. And I'll be damned. Every single one of them. I'm like, boom. Oh, there it is. Hey, Mike. There it is. That's what you, now you want me to support this. Okay. Okay. You haven't supported anything I've done in the last two years, but you're getting ready to do something. So you need, you need my support now. Stop it. Cut it out. So something really funny. That's rude. People see me doing things. I said, hey, I see you ain't got a logo for Art by Cheek. Let me do it. The fuck? <laughs> I'm like, huh? By, by, Zach, by Zach response was, huh? Yeah, you ain't. I said, what do you mean I don't have a logo? <laughs> and what do you mean I'm going to need you to do it? Right. I, I said, for, I said, they, what, I said, do what they are you doing? Know you? I, yes. I said, once again, trying to get that page. Mm. Saying they helped. Mm. I can fucking. That's all, I said, no, nah, man, I'm straight. Why don't you um, work on yours? You know, because I, I see you doing yours. I, don't do mine. Finish yours. That's funny. And that's what I'm saying. That's funny. That's where the same 24 hours came from. You you trying to get so on my page when your page ain't even written. First off, first <laughs> off. I got him going. <laughs> first the fuck off. If you're an artist and you need somebody else to do your logo, uh, fuck you. No, no, hold on, hold on. Every artist cannot create logos. That's true, but Lloyd's been a graphic designer for 40 years, so. Yeah, so that's the difference. <laughs> I'm a graphic designer, too. I actually got a degree in graphic design. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's ridiculous. If you ain't art, n- n- no. You come up with an idea and then give it to somebody like me? You go with a very detailed idea. Oh, now make it so I can re- reuse it. Bet I can do that. Yeah. But your creation of logo can go so that's in what, depth that's because the difference. of your art background, too, though. That's what I'm saying. And I'm double fisted. Yeah, Lloyd is I like actually, double fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd is the one that put me on, like, you know. Man, I had I had ideas for so many crazy concepts of logos. Stop. And, he, and he's like, where else are you going to do it? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it on shirts. I'm going to do it on this. I'm going to do it on that. He was like, Mm-mm, it's too it's too complex. And I'm like, no, nah, dude, it's going to be like this. And he's like, no. And then you get it and you go, oh, I got to I got to pay for I got to pay for 17 colors. Oh, and that's oh, that's going to be eighty five dollars a shirt. OK. What what is He's one charging one hundred and twenty for what, a what is, what, no, no, what, no, is, no. what is what is uh one color cost? Oh, the shirt would be like eight dollars. You right. go. Oh, that's what the fuck Lloyd was talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it is. But it's like it's good to like know know people like that, and you know that ain't gonna just <clears throat> and sometimes gaslight you. Yeah, that exactly. Yeah, and, you can make it bougie. And, and sometimes, sometimes I might have been thinking in my head, Lloyd just trying to hate because he know this shit's dope. And no, no, that's my brother. Sometimes he ain't trying to fucking hate. He's sometimes he's trying to save me some time, effort, and energy. That's what the fuck. Sometimes he was to something do. that's too much to look at. I don't want to fucking see it if it's on everyday shit. And the, the, yeah. if it's too much to look at, BTT is so aesthetically pleasing. That's the whole point. And when the it comes is, to the, it's simple, short, yeah. to the point, explains everything, fucking. If you were to put fucking a train in the background, fucking had me it. sitting they had here. It. Had it. They had it. Me, Lloyd, and you sitting around a fire smoking a joint. You were like, what kind of fucking stupid shit is yeah. that? Like, this is too much to look you at. Know, and then this, it says beyond the tracks. And, and this is the thing, like, I, about about beyond the tracks. So I had this this concept in my head, and it got and it got shot down. It got shot down multiple times. And so I'm like, okay, but I kept trying to recreate it. And I, I don't have those skills, right? So I'm trying to, everything in my power to, to create my vision because as I'm explaining it to people, they're not getting it. They, it's too simple. It's too this. It's too that, right? And then I finally got it. Matter of fact, I asked Lloyd a couple of times. She was like, bro, that's, that's easy. You got this. Once I had it and I put that shit out. Didn't like it. But... Oh, I'm talking about the BTT. Oh, that our yeah. our logo now. Okay. So when I did that, like literally, I start. I showed it to like six people. Everybody was like, "That's fucking dope. That's perfect. This and that." Of the six people, there was only one person who said, "Bro, railroad railroad track sign. That's dope." That was Lloyd. He's the only one that caught that. Everybody else just thought it was an X. What was the first thing I've seen? Right, and I'm like. Yes, it is. I'm like, oh. Yeah. 
So even p- now, I'll tell people that because like it's a railroad I, crossing sign, and they go, "Oh shit!" When it I first is. when I first heard of it, okay. when, when I first when I was first introduced to BTT, I was like, "Oh, that's fucking cool! It's like, like a railroad sign. That's yeah. cool." That proves I, people. That proves people don't look at your shit as gaslight you. Mm. They don't give a fuck, mm. dude. They don't Boom. give a fuck, mm. dude. Nope. Yeah. That's it. They're gonna gaslight you just to do it. Yeah. And people gaslight me on this about this fucking podcast all the time. People, oh man, your podcast is dope. Oh, did you watch the last episode? Man, hell yeah. Which one was Which it? Which one was it? <laughs> um, it was um when y'all was talking about um uh shit I forget, so, but yeah, it, it's I, okay, bro. I've seen here. it. It's okay. I've seen it. I've seen it. You you clicked enough to see that it was on. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. That's all, that's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Yeah. Let's get people to click on it. Mm, I'm about to start gaslighting myself. Actually, I think I do. You do. You do. Because I'm the hottest motherfucker in the world. You are. And I know it. Mm-hmm. And I Bring know it. Bring sexy back. And I make... I, my wife thinks I'm fucking, like, famously sexy. That's and all I that matters. And I think I gaslit her. You her. did. I don't know no, what no, it is. He didn't gaslight her. He put that Jedi shit out on her. <laughs> and she believed that shit. <laughs> I am well, sexy as fuck. Yeah. You are no, sexy. it's all about, uh, dude. I realized it's all about how confident you Boom. are. Real, that, real, that, that's real, that's real God, reality. Truth. Yeah. I was gonna say reality, like, but real re- reality. Yeah, that's the word. It's. I'm. I know what the fuck I am. That's all that matters. Mm. I know what the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Dana always tells me it's a fine line between uh, cockiness and confidence. Yep. And that's true. That was TJ's album. I'm sorry. One of his songs, wasn't it? No. Cocky, one of his lines. I'm sorry. One of his lines. I'm cocky and I'm confident. Maybe. I bought without a rim. I bought without. Come on, quit playing with me. That was on there. Oh, you the bro. You, that was on that one. Bro, I got that. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Not playing. We, we might have to do a, a, a remix tape. Cause that's one, <laughs> that's one of my shits right there. It's still one of my shits. Yeah, and we got we got some stuff. We got some stuff. Yeah, I still think about fucking uh, uh, with BTS about that shit. I still think about their oh, songs yeah, every yeah. fucking day. I put day. that on there as soon as he won. The first one put, yeah. I put BTS on there. Yeah, first, yeah. first very first shit. thing. Yeah, yeah. Because guess who did the logo? The facts. Hey, that was you. That was you. You know, you know what's sweet. crazy too is I seen him. Uh, I seen D Mills. Shout out to D Mills. Um, I seen him at, at uh, Monroe Nutrition uh, the other day, and I was just like, you know, bro, you don't just walk around with your belt. Like, you you can't – I can't get no accolades like that. I'm, I'm walking around. I said, oh. I'm thinking about going to get a fake belt just so that I can wear it around because I think that shit looks dope. And he listen. was like, it's in the car, though. It's in the car. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. He better have that motherfucker on him next time I see him. I'm challenging him for it. Okay. Hey, um – Little cuz got that mean body shot. That's all I, got to I say. would love. That's all I, got to say. I would love to have him reopen my scar on my stomach. <laughs> I would love, dude. I'd be like, see this? Look, D Mills. <laughs> Jesus, this D Mills, dog. Right yeah, yeah. That's what he is. I would love. That's I would love like, to get no. this. I would, <laughs> bro. Like that's real. That's real talk, though. People, I remember, man. Like high school. You know, Bronco McCart was that guy. He was yep. he was the fighter. He was he was the the D Mills of that time. Yep. D Mills right. is now that hey, right. And so then? motherfuckers would test Bronco because it's a win win situation. If if he knocks your ass out, I had that guy by Bronco. Well, it's Bronco. He he was supposed to knock me out. If you whoop Bronco, I beat the champ. I beat, the champ. I, beat I beat I whoop Bronco McCart's ass. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> I gotta win. Over at champ, which one? Rico. Mm. Hey, ask, him, ask him about it. Is ask it a win win? No, it's a win win. It was a win win. Yeah. How old was it? Like six? No, we, we we was teenagers. Oh, Rico, you gotta you gotta call up Rico. Who's Rico? <laughs> you, you gotta hit me on this one, bro. <laughs> he he a champ. Yeah, I, bro, I don't I don't believe it. He go like, oh, why you put it out there? Watch. Listen, like, oh, why you put it out there? Cause I'm about to get knocked cause, out at fifty because of it. I'm pleading to you. I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. Please tell me this isn't true. Altering. Hey, I, alt- I'm one of the only ones that got one. Oh, wow. Hey, t- hey, I'm one of, I won't do that shit now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I know? not do that shit now. Can I know the history? Who's so Rico? Rico Hoy. Robert, yeah, Robert Hoy. Robert, Robert Joe Hoy. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. His dad was a hell of a boxer. His grandfather? I, grandfather, hell of a boxer. Yeah. So just 
three generations of just ass kickers. Oh yeah. yes, but yes. And then is he holding the belt right now? No, he's retired. No, no, he's retired. Retired. Oh, duh. In Phoenix. Oh. He, what? Did he? What it was? He had what three belts at one time? Three. Yeah, I think the who what, w, WBC, class? WBO, oh. and was he, was he same weight class as D Mel? Was he up one? Shit, you gonna make? I can't even remember. But he, yeah, but he, ain't D Mills fighting? He, I think, I think Robert was. Light was he heavy, light right? heavyweight? I think he was light heavy. Yeah. Somewhere around there, he's close. Yeah, two oh five ish area. Yeah, and then because I, I think D Mills is like one seventy five or one eighty five. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, remember the Contender TV show? Yeah, Robert Joe was on there. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Google his ass. Google, Google his ass. <laughs> See, cool. and we can say that because we're not gaslighting. We are real people in yeah. his life. We're, you know, what I'm saying that's, that's cousin. You yeah, know what I'm saying? that's real cousin. That's, that's real cousin. That's real cousin. That's not just one of the fucking families in the hood y'all grew up with. That's that's my that's my uh, sister's cousin's baby mama's best friend, sister in law's uncle, he full of who shit. was actually married to he full my of cousin's shit. best friend's wife. He full of shit. And so, like, he had talked to Lloyd, so he my cousin. Yeah, that's how we related. Ain't that some shit? Uh, wait, <laughs> is there a way that you two were related? It's very, it's very close. We from Monroe, so probably, probably, <laughs> like even marriage, it's like oh, marriage, marriage for sure, yeah. marriage for definitely. I'm married cousin. Yeah. Oh, okay, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <That's> okay, <it. laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Though. I'm gonna leave it alone now. You married his cousin? Yeah. That's your baby mom? No. How many times you been married? Seventeen. Two. <laughs> <laughs> look, he go check the record. Like, look, it was like two. Hey, check the record. You guys, you guys like these bitches, didn't you? No, I'm just, <laughs> no. Hey, no, married for the wrong reasons. So I'll say that I'll, for the facts. Say for the wrong, yeah. married for the wrong. Okay, reasons. okay. Can I ask a question? No, now, now on camera. Okay. <laughs> Where are yeah. we moving to? We yeah, we gotta right. move, we gotta move on because you gonna. You gonna open up a, a, a can of worms? That you layers, don't, that you, yeah, you don't want to open that layer. We <laughs> don't leave that layer alone. No, you don't. <laughs> well, uh, we got about what? We got about ten minutes. Give or take. Give or take. Give or take. Ten. Yeah. All right. We got ten minutes. What's up, man? I don't know, man. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do what we do, and let's do our shout outs. I want to shout out uh, Monroe Nutrition, my man Jeff Copey. Still doing his thug thizzle. Yeah, for sure. I want to shout out Tino Amaya. Amaya, his fresh ass, Mexican grill. His ass was in his work attire, and I, because I walked up here, mm-hmm. and he made sure to run out that motherfucking like, door up? and said, hey! <laughs> and he said, what's up? And I blew him a kiss. He blew me a kiss back. Well, there was, you know, I'm playing Pokemon, so I just, and he did it back, and it was just okay. really nice. That's, that's not man, weird. Shut that's your weird. ass up. I'll weird kiss you on the cheek right yeah. now on camera. Mm. Hey, I've been watching fucking boxing. Hold on a shit. second. <laughs> <laughs> watching boxing. Watching boxing you know shit. who my cousin is? I've been watching fights in, in the NBA fights and everything. My that we sister's out. brother's cousin, them. And them. I got to give a shout out to the What Up Doe podcast. My boy Dice. Tune in on Sundays. They be going in. What up, though? Facts. Yeah. They, they be going in. You can call in and be on their live. Yeah, I know. I seen it's that. Dope. I seen it's that. dope. Dice, you got it, bro. Proud of you, boy. For sure. And with that being said, I am DJ Big Mike. I'm T Daddy Fat Sizzle. And I'm the angry artist. And you know who he is. Peace. Well, yo.